I'm here at Toyota and I'm with Tim from Toyota, correct? And this is the hydrogen powered car. Can, what can you tell us about the hydrogen powered car? This is called the Mirai, which is a Japanese word for future. It's going to be hydrogen powered, so um, that's going to be your fuel source. It's an all electric motor, so there's no com gasoline combustion engine involved. And what happens, you have a fuel cell stack underneath the vehicle. Basically, hydrogen and oxygen combine together in there to create electricity to power your vehicle. So the only emission you get is a little bit of water vapor coming out the back. This is going to be equipped with our, our highest end Entune system, which is uh, what we use in our other Toyota vehicles as sort of an infotainment system. These are all touch capacitive controls, so no actual specific buttons. It's all touch sensitive. And uh, you're going to have access to, as I was saying before, a very similar uh, system that we have on our other Toyota vehicles. So this is Entune, gives you access to a number of different applications, uh, things like maintenance messages. You've also got access to things like Pandora radio on there, and of course the hydrogen station finder, which will also be incorporated on the final vehicles. Uh, when you come down here, again, these are touch capacitive controls. Dual climate control comes standard on all of these. These will be monospec, fully loaded vehicles, so they come pretty well equipped. Heated front seats, you also have a heated steering wheel, easy to control the temperatures up and down just by sliding your finger. And yeah, that's about it. So very high-tech, very connected interior. This isn't too far in the future. This is going to be, it's actually already on the market in Japan, but uh, in California you're going to see this coming in the fall of this year. Uh, probably sometime next year you'll see it here in the Northeast. Uh, but it's all a matter of where they're building the stations. So California has a few active stations. They're building about 20 new ones right now. There's about 12 stations currently in production here in the Northeast. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going to determine where the car goes, is where you can actually fill it up with fuel. Basically, the hydrogen's pumped in from the tanks. It's just mixed together with atmospheric oxygen. It's just drawn in. And then that gives you the chemical reaction to produce electricity. So then your water vapor is just going to come out the back there. Uh, you do also incorporate a battery pack, much like our hybrid vehicles. So in fact, this is a hydrogen hybrid vehicle. Uh, works in the same way, except you have no gasoline motor now. So the fuel cell stack basically takes its place. How much would this go for? Well, the MSRP of this vehicle is going to be about 57.5. Um, that's going to be before any sort of incentives come into play. We're still ironing out the details of those, so we'll have to wait to see what's going to, go, going to happen with incentives. But that's going to be a monospec fully loaded vehicle. So as far as equipment level, think something like an Avalon Limited or even a Lexus ES. Definitely more of a premium vehicle. Um, and size-wise, it's similar to a Camry, same length, um, a little bit narrower, so mid-sized sedan, basically.